God damn it. You really gotta make me come back and do this again, huh, kitty? Hello, my basset hound friends and my sexy and pie kitties. Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Mark a Punk here. Yes, with a brand new re-ranking. The reason? Kitties just released their new album last week ago. And I'll give you my official thoughts on it, which is called Fire. That's their latest one. And uh, yes, ki um, speaking of kitties, Lincoln is actually here with me to do this ranking. So this is perfect. So I brought back the cat gimmick. <laughs> like in my past two. Holy crap. I thought I'd give, uh, give, you, <clears throat> give you guys a tradition. Because it is kitty. So, uh, there are seven albums instead of six. And, uh, and tell you my thoughts about the latest one. You ready to do this, Lincoln? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. At the same time, I wasn't looking forward to it. I thought this, I thought the latest one could suck. But I'll tell you my thoughts while going through this ranking. So this is going to be way different than years ago. Trust me. My opinions change. <clears throat> so let's get started from worst to best. So my number seventh worst one out of all the kitty albums is definitely in the black. More like in the pile of shit. Yes, I hate this one out of out of all seven. This is definitely the worst one they made. The only thing that's positive is the opening to this album. That's about it. I'm not even fucking joking. Yeah, this is definitely my least favorite. In the black, definitely you're in the shit, and you're gonna stay in the bottom for years to come. This is definitely their worst one in my opinion. And that's where it's gonna be at my number seven. In the shit, I mean, in the black. All right, putter. At my number six for this ranking is actually I Failed You. Yeah, I'm still mixed about this one. It's my second least favorite from Kitties. Um, six songs I do, uh, decently enjoyed is uh, I Failed You, We Are the Lamb. is actually a pretty cool damn song actually from this. Really awesome. Uh, Whisper of Death, Empires Parts 1 and 2. And lastly, Ugly is a great song too from this. And uh, that's all I can think of. It is my second least favorite out of all of them. I can have a tad bit of decent time with this one. At least it's not as worse as in the black was. Holy fuck. But anyway, I'm going to purr my way into my number five. I'm going to get a lot of flack for this one, so... So, my number five is going to be Oracle, guys. So, this is their second full-length album. And you're going to tell me it's blasphemy for being this below. Because um, I didn't really have this, a lot of nostalgia for this one, to be honest. I didn't. Um, it's still decently, decently enjoyable. Decently. But the six songs I quite enjoyed was Oracle, Mouthful of Poison is a great song, Severed, Pain's Good, No Name's a good song, and lastly, Pink Lemonade's a great instrumental ending for this album. It's really still damn good. Um, to me, I don't have nostalgia for Oracle, in my opinion. Really don't. That's just my opinion. So my number five is going to be Oracle. So we are here again at my number four. It's going to be in the middle of my ranking, as my last one was. It's going to be until the end, guys. It really is. I'm still mixed as fuck about this one. Back then, I had really good nostalgia for this one, but at the same time, not really anymore. It's in the middle of my ranking. I can have a good enough time with this one. I know, right, Lincoln? Uh, those songs really still piss me off this day was, um, uh, I can't remember. They're not even memorable for me to tell you. It's just those two songs were so fucking annoying. Oh yeah, now I remember it. One of them was In Dreams. What the fuck was that song? It still irritates me to this day. And I, I still proved it in my shorts, by the way. It's, I'm going to complain about that until the day I die. I still hate those songs. And the other song I care... It's not even fucking memorable to me. I fucking hate the song In Dreams. I hate it so much. 
that's what ruins this album for me. But I'm gonna name the seven tracks for you guys anyway. So Career Suicide until the end. Red Flag's an awesome fucking song. I love that song. Into the Darkness is an awesome one. Awesome music video for it, by the way. I give highlight for that. Um, Burning Bridges is a good down. Daughter's down. And Into the Darkness vocal remix, which I do like. I, I like both versions of this song overall. But the music video for it is really good. Look it up. Yeah, it's still in the middle of my goddamn ranking. Overall, those two songs still piss me off to this day. And I refuse to go back to listen to them again. I refuse. And my number four is going to be Until the End. Deal with it. Meow. My top three? Here on out, I like all tracks of these ones, so this might surprise you. So my top three are fucking awesome. So what am I going to put for my number three Bronze Medal winner this time? And this might shock and surprise you, which is Funeral, Funeral for Yesterday. Yes, this one. This album has the best mix, in my opinion, from Kitty. This is why it's at the highest of my ranking. I love the damn good vocals in this one, still. I don't know why, it's just, it's really good in this album. Good vocals, I think they have a good production for this one. My god, I love this one. I don't know why, I still do. All the tracks are fucking awesome. Uh, there's 14 tracks, I hate to name them all out. Um, you guys know I still love the shit out of this one still to this day. Because it has the perfect balance in this one. And that's why I enjoyed this one. Damn good vocals from her. Really good. And there is some other vocals that go into it too to put into that mix. I still love the shit out of this one, guys. It's at my number three Bonds Mode winner, though. But I like something more better than this, trust me. I still love Funeral for Yesterday. It's at my number three Bonds Mode winner. My number two is Silver Mode winner, and I haven't talked about this yet in this ranking, which is actually fire. Um, I went into this um, ears blind. I have no idea what I was getting into. I thought this album would fucking suck. But shockingly, it actually surprised the hell out of me. This is actually fucking good. Um, you got me on that one, Kitty. I thought you were going to be a piece of shit like in the black was, but it wasn't. They actually kept to their old school Kitty, which I like, which fans would approve. I love that. Um, I love the hell out of their new one. This album, Fire, is really on fire. I love the shit out of this now. But shockingly, it surprised me. It's rare for me to say the word shocked. I am literally shocked. So I like all tracks for this one. So Fire, I Still Wear This Crown is a... All these songs are fucking good. Falter, Vultures, We Are Shadows, Wound. Um, one Foot in the Grave is awesome. Are You Entertained? Uh, Grime. And lastly, Eyes Wide Open. God damn, this is Kitty's best one so far. It's really good, guys. But I have something better at my number one, trust me. But this is a damn good latest one. I actually enjoyed this. I think it, uh, a lot of years later, I think it's worth the wait for the best one. They uh, Kitty actually put their time and effort into making a good one and not a piece of shit one. Which, thank God for that. Thank you, Kitty. for This gets me back into a little bit of a Kitty hype again. And, uh... Wow, this really fucking surprised me when I first heard it. It's fun to go in it with blind ears. It really is. Um, I enjoyed it. So my number two cinema winner, I have to give give it to Fire. I know, right? It's the best album, Lincoln. <laughs> He's just stretching. On to my number one gold medal winner. My number one horrific gold medal winner of a Kitty album. I do like, and it's the most undisputed. This might be the most obvious one. As you can obviously tell, yes, Spit is my number one undis undisputed champion. This is still my favorite. I have huge fucking nostalgia for this one. This is one the, back then in the early 2000s. This is my first time, I mean, this was actually my first time listening to it, and it's my first new metal album I ever heard. I, and 
I thought, hmm, maybe Linkin Park Hybrid was. I can't remember. This was my little baby footsteps into new metal. And uh, yes, this is still my favorite Kitty album. I love the shit out of this one. And uh, it's still my undisputed winner, obviously. Brackish is still a fucking good song. I listen to it every single goddamn day. It's still iconic as hell. So is Charlotte. Um, awesome. I like the song called Choke. I love that song. I love Choke. And especially Paper Doll. I love that one. And uh, Immortal is their last instrumental song to cap it off with this one. It's so good, guys. Goddamn, I have still have nostalgia for this one. This is still my number one favorite, guys. I love Kitty Spit. <sighs> I'm not going to spit on my talent. You know what I mean. Um, that's all I have to say about it. I have really good nostalgia for this one. I grew up with this one. Ugh, it's still my undisputed favorite. You guys obviously know that. And uh, that's my number one gold medal winner, guys. It's definitely Kitty Spit. And I hope you enjoyed my new re-ranking of Kitty Plus Fire, their latest one. And Lincoln was here with me the whole time <laughs> to fit the mood for this one. I actually made this myself out of a cardboard box and I put purple and yellow in it to make it look like ears. <laughs> and uh, yes, I had to bring back this gimmick again. And uh, they made a really good successful new one in my opinion. If they continue with this trend, I might like this band even more if they continue with this fucking trend. I have high hopes for it now, to be honest. And uh, if they can keep going with this kind of trend I was talking about in Fire, you got my attention. So overall, I'm going to go ahead and end this re-ranking here. Subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell to get notified on all of my notifications. Also like and share the re-ranking of Kitty studio albums plus fire and I will see you my best home friends my six and five cuties on the next, next upcoming studio album videos in the future so see you later